Hi, I'm Lily. Today, I'm going to read your story cord. Save Princess Par. Okay, I'm going to read you the story. Save Princess Par. Okay, let's read it. Save Princess Par. Par, presents Save Par was a princess in a coloring book that belonged to a little girl called Emily. Emily told Par, I'm going to color you in last. I want you to be very beautiful when you go to the ball. Just then, Emily's mother came in. Come on, it's time to go. Coming, answered Emily. She got up and followed her mom. She left all her things scattered across the table. She didn't even stop to stop to put the tops back into her felt tip pants. Princess Pearl called out, Don't go, you haven't colored me in my dress. I can't go to the ball like this. But Emily didn't hear she walked out and shut the door. The moment later, the house was empty. Princess Par said to herself, Emily has gone, so I'll have to color myself in my own. She hopped out of the book. Pearl tried to pick up Emily's gourd felt tips pen, but it was too heavy. It slipped out of her hands and made splotches on her dress and arms. The Par stumbled backwards and knocked over a pot of goo. Uh-oh, and was covered in the sticky stuff. Suddenly, a wind blew up, and the wind gusted into the room. Oosh, it was like a hurricane. Princess Pori didn't get blown away because her feet were stuck in the table, stuck on the table. But the pages had flipped. The pages of the coloring book fluttered and flapped and waved. At last, the wind stopped blowing and the page stopped moving. Princess Par couldn't see the page she had stepped out of. There was no ballroom and no orchestra, but she could hear. But she could hear something. She leaned over the coloring book and saw a knight. And the knight sat on his horse, playing a guitar and singing softly. My name is Flynn. I've been badly colored in. Emily squirted on me when she was only tiny. Who will? Oh, I'm looking for a princess who will always stand by me. Pearl managed to pull on the feet of the glue and stopped into the drawing. Hello, she said. Flynn knelt down in front of the princess. I'm at your service, my lady, he said. He kissed his hand. He kissed her hand and his lips turned golden. Pearl laughed. I use a felt tip pen to color myself in, she said, but the color hasn't dried yet. Who are you? asked Fred. I'm Princess Pearl. I wanted to go to the ball, but the wind turned my page, and now I'm lost. Suddenly, the pages of the book started flipping again. Poor and Flynn saw an ugly hand in fierce coats. Then came an ugly green hand with pointy teeth. It was an ogre. That from another page, Emily had colored him really well. He grabbed his princess. Help! shouted Pearl. Um, oh, yummy, said the ogre. I love eating princesses. Their colored in dress tastes like sweets. Get back, ogre! shouted Flynn, rushing over to the, the rushing over to help her. But Emily had thrown a floor on the tip of the Flynn's sword. The ogre tied Pearl's feet together. You're sicky, he grumbled. Mm, yuck, not very tasty, too. He jumped off the page and came back moments later with some pencil sharpenings and some eraser dust. He sprinkled over Pearl. He sprinkled all them over Pearl. There, said the ogre, smiling. Now I'm going to gobble you up. Hey, you, shouted Flynn. Nobody's going to cover her up. The monster hit out the fence and sent him flying off the color table, a color book. The ogre put his huge face close to the parse. He was about to swallow her. Just then, the princess had an idea. Splash, splash. She rubbed her inky hands all over the ogre's eyes. The ogre screamed, Oh, I can't see. I can't see. And then he ran around and around in circles, shouting, Where are you, you nasty princess? What was Flynn doing in the meantime? He had grabbed a pencil and he and jumped on his horse. He had an idea. Flynn galloped and 
toward the ogre as fast as he could. C flipped cop, flipped cop, flipped cop. He attacked the ogre with a pencil. Like this. He attacked the ogre with a pencil. The ogre fell to the ground. Hooray! Well done, Flynn. Flynn, you saved me, said Per, her, her eyes shining brightly. That's what knights do, says Flynn, untrying her fits. Even once that are badly colored in. Per giggled. I don't care about that. I'm not colored in at all. But you are the most beautiful Per princess I've ever seen, said Flynn. Suddenly, they heard voices. Hello, hello, anyone here? Look, said Purr. It's the musicians from the boar. Come on, Flynn, let's dance. Purr and Flynn stepped into the middle of the ballroom and began to... Oh, began to tour around the room. The tour around and around and around. Okay, so today, I will just record... Save Princess Par. The end. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching.